Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I need a refill. I'm Dee Dee, and this is an impromptu, earlier than usual morning stream. And I wanted to finish up this girl. So I'm going to record a little early, and I did put a link in, uh, or I did tweet it out. So if anybody sees it, or they see that I'm going live, then uh, welcome, and I see a few people here. I think they're left over from watching another re a recording. But So what I want to do is I want to finish her, and I did this uh, Monday, <laughs> and I did add a few more things. I did finish the flowers. I put a few extra painted highlights in her hair. Hey, Juju. <laughs> I did put a few extra little painted highlights in her hair and now I want to do, finish the background I think I'm going to paint the background um, there's a lot of these little swirly woody things in the background Don't know. I think I'll just paint those out and then repaint them in if I want to or maybe just put her in stars or something these things right here like this that's just not um, I just I don't care if that's there or not. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get some paint out. Let's see what color blue do I want. Do I just want Prussian blue? Because I just want a nice dark blue. I usually do black, but I'm going to do blue today. And uh, what I usually do when I uh, paint back the backgrounds is I don't add water. I don't do a wash. It's just full strength because I want a nice flat coverage and then I'll do her butterfly her her arms and her dress and her legs I think that's part of her dress right there so I think I don't know I just might do the whole thing the whole background blue like not that she's sitting on anything in particular I think I'll just do the whole thing background blue so I'm just get a brush here so Thanks everybody for joining me. Just want to get this done. So I came on early. And uh, yeah. How you doing, Juju? Anybody else that's here? So I just have some. What color blue did I use? Ultramarine? No, Prussian. Prussian blue. Some Prussian blue. And I'm just going to paint in the background. And again, I think I'm going to paint over these um, little vine things. And I'm, I got a kind of a small brush because I, I want to get around, you know, some other things. So, uh, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Got up early, got some stuff done. So I said, well, I might as well just go ahead and, because I want I, I thought about starting it or even earlier while I was doing these flowers. And I said, well, no, I'll wait a little. Uh, so I already did a flower or two on Monday. So you could, you know, everybody could see how the flowers were done. And the only thing that I had added last week after the recording stopped was some little highlights with paint in her hair. And, uh, but other than that, I think everything's been recorded from part one. So, I'm going to just go ahead and just take my time, paint this in. I will have to go get me some more coffee here in a minute. But, so I hope everybody has a good hump day. I watch Survivor and tweet with uh, a bunch of fans and all that on Wednesday night. So that's, that's tonight. Hey, Blue Sky Brenda. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. So I just want to finish this girl up. I did ha I did want to um I think I'm gonna outline her in white too because I might kind of lose her hair in the dark blue. So I'll probably outline her in white. Uh also thought about maybe doing going through I think I have a video on it already going through all the pencils remember I did the pencil I showed how I stored my pencils Miko asked how I stored my pencil I think it was Miko so I kind of showed most of them I didn't show what I have in the drawers I have extra pencils and markers in drawers I didn't show all those 
not that you needed to see them, but I'm just saying. Um, but I think about, I don't know, a few months ago, I thought I had done a pencil. Oh, you want to call a show and tell? It's not really a review. I just kind of show the pencils, tell you the name of the pencil, show what they can do, whether they're water soluble, if they're dark or um, any something like that. Yeah, my secret stash. Um, so yeah, I probably will just go around her too with white. But in the meantime. So I didn't know if that would be something that I should do on the show or just make it a separate recording for that. I didn't know, so. But that's something else I thought about. Um, I don't know why I have to be so, I'm not, you don't need to be so careful around these edges, you know, because it's kind of like in a frame. When I photograph it, I usually just crop off the edges just to make a crisp photo of it so that it goes off the edge so again I'm just gonna go right over any of the little vines and stuff that are in the background that I don't care about <clears throat> you're the book from Amazon you'll probably get it in a day or two I think Galena got hers next day of course you know that's gonna depend on where you are and all that but. Anywho, now I'm using a tiny brush just so I can get around the little flowers and things. You have it in your wish list. Just had to pay for two school trips. Oh, okay. Where are you going on your school trips? Tell us about it, Juju. I know you're in UK. There's a lag, so I kind of have to wait till the lag catches up. So I don't know if you can tell. It's a dark blue, not black. But it's just a little bit different than just solid black like a lot of times I'll use. A lot of times I'll use black in my solar systems because I add so many other colors to it. Well, and just because it's a, it's a solar system. Uh, oh, oh, your girls are going to school. Out to, uh, oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So you're paying for trips for uh, your kids. All right, gotcha. <laughs> I don't think I need every one of these little poppies. I'll keep a few of them, but I don't need every one of those little poppies, I don't think. Because you can do what you want because you know what? You're the boss of your color book. <laughs> uh, Yeah, we always try to do those things for the kids, don't we? Let's tweet me. Let me check.
for us. It's uh, Boo's Cheer. Aw, you're welcome, Miss Miko. Hey Miko, I have to say that um, it was Kathy, Kathy B. I don't know if she wants her last name, I don't think she cares, but it was Kathy that uh, told us about uh, that your daughter's birthday. So, I hope she was surprised for a little Sherry card. Hey Carrie. Anybody else popping in? I'm going to stretch my chat out. That means I'm going to have to watch for the scroll bar to move down, too. Hey, Mel Gross. Anybody else? Miss Cat, Kimberly, Mary Palm. <laughs> A couple of guests. Thanks for being here. Hey, Kimberly. Kimberly K. Yeah, I came on early. I wanted to finish this girl before I did anything else. Now, I think, I don't know if that's part of her dress right there. I don't think it is. No, I'm just going to cover that up because I'm the boss of my color book. <laughs> Paint's getting a little dry. I have a fan on behind me. It's a little humid in here. Let me get my brush cleaned out. So yeah, I'm just painting. When I paint that, it's gonna, I'm going to lose a bit of her hair. I think I'll paint that. I mean, I'll just do that with a pencil so it's not quite as dark blue. I don't want to lose her outline of her hair there. These little butterflies. Again, I'll probably go over those. Make them a little bigger. Put them in the stars because I'm going to add stars and stuff to it. Hey, Mindy. Anybody else popping in? Thanks for stopping in. Again, I came on a little early so I could get this done. I did the flowers before I hit record. But I, I think y'all saw me do a one full flower on Monday, so it's they're all the same. And the only other thing that I did different or did off camera was Monday after the recording stopped. I did some with a liner brush. I did a few paint highlights, and I might put a few more in that float over into the background. So. But you got to have the background in first before you can paint on top of it. So anyway, like I said, the other thing that I thought I wanted to get done today, and I'll do a separate video on it, is the pencils. The different pencils. And, I, and again, I think I did a show. Well, I know I did a show with all the pencils, but I'm not sure if it was just on Stream or if it was on YouTube as well. So, I probably should go look in Art Supplies. I guess I could do an updated one anyway. <clears throat> I 
Hey, Lynn, anybody else I might have missed? Thanks for stopping in. So I might do a little short video on that, on what the different pencils are, since I showed them all last Monday. And didn't really talk about them, just showed how I stored them. Thanks to Miko. Miko, I didn't show you all the pencils that I have in drawers. I do store pencils and pens. I have a, a marker for Sharpies, which I rarely use. I really have them there for Cam. I have a, a drawer for Sharpies, one for extra pens, one for extra pencils, one for chalks that I hardly ever use, one for, you know, I have different drawers and one of those towers, one of those, you know, Michael's paint tower cart thingies. The drawers, I have different drawers for different extra, you know, I have some watercolors in one, acrylics in another, and uh, so it's kind of a catch-all of all kinds of stuff, not just pens and pencils, which is what you asked about. Hey, Julie, I know her last name's not Topaz. How you doing? How are the gingers? How they doing? Tell them I said hi. Next time you talk to them, just want to get this background painted in. I know I'm not as zoomed in as close, but I want you to see the whole picture. Blue sky, Brenda. You're organizing. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'll tell you what. Those scrappy camper sisters will do it for you, won't they? <laughs> I mean, they can. They really have a lot of in-depth tips. My tip is to get my daughter to your house and let her throw everything away. <laughs> she did mine. I was. I watched some of that again. Um, was it yesterday? I was going through, and I and I saw you know that video of me and Denise. Uh, it's probably about, gosh, it's about nine months ago now. I can't believe it's that long ago. Six, nine months ago? At least, I think it's nine months ago. Where she came over and, and, you know, we threw away a bunch of old files and all that. It was, it's still hilarious to me. She is so funny. Did, did I, Steffi says, did you make a grilled cheese on grilled cheese day? No, because I just had one on the day before. So I didn't want to grill cheese two days in a row. It's a full-on paint. Yeah, it's Prussian blue. I want it solid, dark. Yeah, but I'm going to make some of those. Uh, next time I have uh, somebody over for a retreat, we're going to have, um, I'm going to make macaroni and cheese grilled cheese sandwiches. It'll probably end up being Darcy. She'll probably be the next one here. So I'll have to make Darcy one. She could be my guinea pig. <laughs> hey, Carol. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was so fun. If y'all have not watched that video, I think it's called... I can't get in there any tighter on that little bit right there with this brush. I think it's called My Daughter clean um helps clean out the paper or something like that you'll see a, it, it has a picture of us together i'm gonna get rid of that one right there i don't need that one either <laughs> but it is so funny she just had me cracking up the, she has such a dry sense of humor and uh she has me cracking up we had so much fun You're going to run away from a grilled cheese and mac and cheese. I can just make a plain one, Nico. You can make a plain one. Hey, Jean. Good to see you. Well, just a little early today. I wanted to get this done. This girl. Q 
Okay, so the paint starts getting dry on the brush. I mean, it's not watered down anyway, but I have, you know, fought one, two, three, four. I have fought six lights on and a uh, fan blowing behind me. So it starts crusting up, and then you don't get a smooth flow. So you, every now and then you clean out your brush and start again so the, the paint's not getting all crusty. And this isn't the best. This particular brush this little flat brush isn't the best. I should have taken a little more time to pick a better one, but <clears throat> I did make fresh coffee, so as soon as I finish this background, I'm gonna go run down and get some. Oh, sorry, Carrie. Carrie can't have coffee anymore. Bless her heart. Oh, you're cheating this? Oh, oh, shh, 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 I won't say. Okay, I'm going to have to get a smaller brush to get right along that line, I think. Can't get down in there with this thicker brush. Same for right in there. Let me just get a pointy, need a pointy brush. Grandchild number eight arrived yesterday. Oh, congratulations! Grandchild number eight. A girl named Ida. Ida or Ada? Is it pronounced Ada or Ida? A-I-D-A. -A. It's like that Ida claw. That's what I think of when I see that name. You know, the cross-stitch material. <laughs> Which is, I'm sure, named after somebody. It's a pretty name. Congratulations. Okay, so I think that's good on the background. Hey, Jean, Jean or the um, Mama Four. <laughs> I just like Mama Four. Ada, Ada. That's pretty. Ada. Ada. Darcy's done some cap. Oh, decaf does have some cap in it. Yeah. All right, let me go down and get some coffee. Speaking of, I'll leave her sitting here for a minute. Let make sure that's all dry. I'll probably hit it with a heat gun too. And uh, I'll go ahead and do finish the background. Put some stars. Probably use just use my uh, Posca pen for the stars. And uh, I'm going to go around those uh, butterflies, and I think I'll go around her with a white pencil when I'm completed with it. We'll see. At least around her hair. I want to have her have a nice little glow around her head. <laughs> I like saying Mama Four. Okay, I'll be right back. I just, oh, I forgot to do my nails. Oh, well. Okay, let me just hit this with the heat gun just to make sure it's there's no. Okay, so what I want to do is I want stars around there, but these I'm gonna leave these little small butterflies, just like butterfly shapes in the sky. It's going to kind of sharpen them up a little after going around them with the paint. But I'll leave them white. Okay. So I think I'll just put 
I could splatter it, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a few large ones and a few small ones. Hey, Luscious Graphics, I-E-L-G. strategically place them with a the pen. When you splatter, it's kind of, you know, hit or miss. Sky. Thanks for being here, everybody. I am here a little early. Um, I'm not sure. I think maybe I'll go around these little poppies. I don't know if I'm going to like that if I go around them. Let's see what that looks like. I guess because they're kind of in the sky, I guess they could be kind of outlined love the Poscas yeah this is the only one I have me goes a white one Jean has a whole set she's probably off getting coffee right now Jean has a whole set of them, as, as I think Paula does. There's quite a few that have the whole set. I just don't know that I'd use a whole set. You know? I, I use white, because for, obviously for like this. But I don't know that I'd use the colors. Not saying I wouldn't, but, you know, I just haven't invested in those. Although I think everybody's getting good deals on Amazon for them. Let's add a couple more larger. Oops. Thanks, Carrie. Carrie, are you going to turn into our nutritionist now? <laughs> our online nutritionist? <laughs> Don't tell me I can't have my grilled cheese. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All right, so there we go. All right, so I'm liking that. Okay, so almost 60% off. Oh, okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> yeah, Miko said that they're almost 60% off. Is that on Amazon, Miko? I think that's where everybody's finding them. She's talking about, if anybody's wanting to know what, what we're talking about, the Uniball, or just Uni, I guess. Uni Posca pins. This is a 0 0.7, but I, I know they come in bigger sizes, too. And this one, the point is a little bit dulled from use, but I might need... Well, you're just going to be, uh, yeah. <laughs> do we just need, <clears throat> don't, we don't want to just hook you up to an IV, Carrie. <laughs> is, is there anything you're going to be able to eat? Okay. All right. So let's see. I got a little bit of blue paint on our hand. Let me kind of wipe that out there. All right. Because I'm going to paint her arm and everything, you know, the peach color. <clears throat> so, so no grilled cheese for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and get the two shades of peach. And I think I was using uh, the poppy red for a little bit of the shadows. 
I got something on her face right there. It's making a mark. Something wet or something? I didn't drip my coffee on it. Let me just put a little bit more shadow right along the side of her face here. Blend it in with the with the darker is that the no that's not the dark peach, is it? Let me get the right yeah it is. It's the right color. Just to kind of darken along our hairline a little bit more. <laughs> That's what he asked you to, Gary. Oh. Very light touch. Light, light touch. Can't say that enough. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, blend that out a little, and then I'll go into her. Ugh, this pencil. I gotta, I've got to dig out my uh, peach in the uh, barrel. Because this one must have been one of the ones that's been dropped a bunch of times or something. Because <laughs> it keeps, it just keeps breaking and breaking and breaking. So, don't tell me it's the sharpener. It's not the sharpener. <laughs> you want a white fine line and a black. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. The white. I love the white one. I ha and the black, I don't know how much more use I'd get out of it than I would a Sharpie. You know, a black Sharpie. Um, but, the, you know, the white is just awesome for going over anything. So I'm just kind of blending out some of that I'm trying to keep my hand out of it, although I'm not zoomed in as much. I guess I could zoom back in. I zoomed out while I was doing the background so you could see the whole thing. And I got a little bit of something there, too. I just got a little something right there. <clears throat> hey Pam, how you doing? Which book is this? It's the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Fantasy Art Adventure with all her little girls, her big eye girls. I started this one Monday and I went, came on a little early today to finish her up. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to start. I want to get her little neck in here. And I'm just using light peach and peach right now. And I did say um, on Monday, I was talking about, and I'm also using the poppy red, just to kind of a little bit of a shadow here and there but I'm not leaving it red I'm going back over it with the peach to kind of blend it out so it's not like red red uh, because I did her cheeks with that and it's really kind of an orange red it's more orange than red to me poppy red um, but anyway I was saying that I was I almost did a uh, I wanted to do a uh, african-american girl and then I had somebody I guess watch the show and they asked me to let them know or you know to say or to record it to record it when I did but I guess I have not seen or now right now I'm just gonna go over all her arms with just light peach just as a base um, I did that other girl in the look book with the little dog and I also I've shown quite a few different skin tones that I've done in color pencil. Maybe after I finish this, I'll show them again. But like, I did record drawing Mistel. Um, I don't know how many I've recorded, but I've drawn a lot of different nationalities. <clears throat> Especially for sketchy. I've drawn tons of them. So, I will make one of these, though. Hi, Janet. I will make one of these uh, an African American girl.
I think that's part of her dress right there. Make that part of her dress. Let's go down here to her hands. Just a light coat, just to cover up this, you know, just a base. And I, I'm still tempted to do her socks in black and white, but that's so, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what color I'm going to do her wings yet, so we'll see. Mm. I don't know. Maybe, Miko. You froze, Miko? Did I freeze for anybody else? Hey, Mountain Dreamer Teresa. Shows I'm still rolling, Miko. Refresh. I don't know. Okay. I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going to do a full on too much shading here. I want to just, a, I want a little bit, but not too much. Again, I don't want to spend days on a color book. Not that there's anything wrong with it. If you want to spend lots of time on your color book, there's nothing wrong. With it. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, Janet, thanks. And yes, I know, people say you can put them in the oven and heat them up. I have a problem with that. My problem with that is that you shouldn't have to do that with your pencils. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, Miko, yeah, depending on what device you're on. <sighs> oh, okay, that does it. I'm going to dig out my barrel. I know I have a barrel of peach in here. There's a Sanford one. Maybe we'll we'll go one generation back. <laughs> we'll go one generation back. <laughs> it's even it's better than the barrel will be better, but the Sanford's better than the Premier. And it's funny, I mean you can just tell that the wood is different. The okay, I won't get off on my Prismacolor rant today. I won't do it. I know, right, Lady Blue? All right, so now I'm gonna, again, I'm going to take the uh, Poppy Red and just put a, it's, and it's very red, so I'm putting very little, and then I'm going to go back over it with the peach because I don't want that red. I just want it as a shade, you know, just a little bit of a darker in the shadows, but not, I don't want it red. I stay in camera here. Just blend that out a little. sharpen up. I got a little bit of paint on our thumb there. Let me just go around it with the black. Sharpen up that. I got the paint on her hand. Okay. Other arm here. Just give a little shadow over it by her fingers. Some of her hand here around her thumb.
So what's everybody doing today or working on or what have you got going on today? Looks like it wants to rain again. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of trying to make up its mind whether it wants to or not. Might just be a, you know, rain cloud. I haven't checked the weather today. I should do that. Okay, that's good. Sip of coffee. I'm afraid for buying more books. Oh, t trust me, Lady Blue. I got probably, I'm, I think I have over 50 color books. But they all have their own specialness to them. They each have their own awesomeness. Okay, now because that's paint on there, I can take a pencil. Let me put that pencil away somewhere, a broken one. Um, because that's paint, remember what I sh you know I've shown y'all. You can take your white pencil. And I just want to give her a little glow around her here, right on the top. And I think what I'm going to do, I might even feather it out instead of just a white glow. I think what I'm going to do is like, you know, almost make it look, you know, an aura, you know, like. So rather than just an outline. But because I'm going over on top of uh, paint right here, it, it stays nice and bright. Can you all see that? Yeah. Okay, Jean. That's at one. Okay, so I don't want to carry this all the way around. But what I'm, I'm thinking I want to do now is just kind of, and I got to do it real gently because I want to blend this white line out, but I also want to kind of make it like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it till I hold it up, but just real gently make her have like a little glow around her. Put it a little bit of yellow in there, but I think I'm just going to leave it white with the stars and all. Let's see. But the only reason I can do that is because I'm going on paint. I don't have that one, Carrie. Don't don't be tempted me, girl. Don't be tempted me with another book. I get tempted enough just walking in the bookstore. <laughs> uh, your copy of this book is arriving today, Crafty Amy. Oh well, we need pictures. We need pictures. Are you on Twitter? Carrie always says it doesn't count unless we see pictures. Yeah, we don't have time, Carrie. If Jean doesn't come on till one, it's only nine. I mean, at the most, I'd be here is till eleven. A couple more hours, so you still have two hours to play, Carrie. In between, before Jean comes on, is that good for you? Get psych yourself up right now. <laughs> Get psyched up right now, Carrie. Jean, did your video ever load up to YouTube? Or your videos, I should say. That happened to Carrie. Now, they must be doing some kind of uh, updates or something. 
because it took me like, took me to the, well, I tried that day, Monday, I tried Monday to upload my two videos, and they didn't upload, they just kept bouncing back, so, well, I say bouncing back, they just wouldn't upload, failed, if you will, to upload, so I had to, it didn't work till the next morning, so it didn't work till the next morning, okay, Carrie. So I don't know, Jean, what they may be doing something, because obviously it's not one of us, it's all of us. Happen to carry. The watercolor one didn't downloaded it to your computer and then uploaded it. How fly how long did it take though, Jean? Downloading it to your computer and then uploading it to YouTube, how long did that take? Seriously. because it was like a three hour video, wasn't it, Jean? But that was the best one, your watercolor. So I'm glad you've got it up there, even though you had to do it a different way. <clears throat> Hi, Deb. Yeah, I don't know what, they must be doing something for that to happen, right? I mean, because it has happened occasionally, like, but like all of us now, it happened to us all. So they must be doing something. But I'm waiting to see how long it took Jean to... <laughs> you need this color book, Miko. Like I said, I went back, you know, I got it uh, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. And then I went back to the bookstore this past weekend, and they were all sold out. I think they had like five copies of it. That I went, By the time I found it, it, they had five. So they might have even sold more before I even saw it that weekend. Oh, it only took five minutes to download to your computer and ten minutes to upload to YouTube. Put on it in a play. Huh. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jean. Yeah, I don't want any. I don't want to have to be trying to upload these videos ten times. Right. <laughs> okay. So I think. I mean, let me just pull out just. A smidge more, just a few little lines to kind of indicate that it's really glowy. I want it to be very softly blended. It is plain. Okay, then it worked, Jean. Carrie said it's working for you, her. I always just think about the upload time. You know, if you have to do it to your computer and then to YouTube, but since that didn't take you too long, that's okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think I'll leave it like that. I think that's pretty blendy. All right, I gotta do her dress and her wings and I'm I don't know I'm, I want kind of I mean I'm thinking purple and olive um, with the red poppy might be pretty or maybe just shades of green green would all be pretty too you like the glow effect. Again, the only reason it works is because it's on paint. You could get a similar something with on, on a solid <clears throat> color of pencil, but not that good. It's because it's on paint that gives you that tooth to do that. Because if you have that dark of a pencil, if your pencil is that dark, it, you're, you know, you're not going to get that soft effect like that. At least not very easily. <laughs> 
All right, so let's see. Let me move that eraser. There's this eraser out of my little. I keep a little, just a little bowl here for shaving so I can just sharpen right here. But then that means they get all over the place, especially if uh, I have a fan blowing behind me. So. Aw, Janet, my plans are to watch my fibs on Ustream and color or draw. Okay, so there's that. Let's see. Let me look. I'm thinking I'm just going to paint it all lime green and then do, uh, you know, like a wash, a lime green wash, um, like our citron green or yellow green. Which one do I want? I think I want the, the citron. It's just a little brighter. Not a lot, but just a little. I think I'll paint the whole thing citron and then shade uh, with a darker, like maybe an olive or something. I don't know. So I just got a little citron green right there. I don't want to get it in my black. So I'm going to lean. I'm going to tilt it this way to add the water to it. Here's my brush. And just water it down. And just make a nice little wash here. And then I'm just going to paint the whole thing lime green for a base. See, then I'll ha I have then I have a little bit of a tooth on the whole wing to add a, a darker green to. If I did all this in pencil, it, it's you know then you have to layer the pencil. But now I don't have to worry about putting a layer of lime green. I'm just going here on top of the lime green with darker pencils and shade, and it's quicker. And the reason you want to wash is if you did this full strength, you'd be covering up all those lines. You know? Hey, everybody that's popping in. Janice, Kathy, Ella. I know I'm at Flint. I know I missed a lot of y'all coming in. So, thanks for being here. Kitty, let me scroll down a little bit. King Gore, Kimberly, Lindair, LG, who else did I miss? Most of y'all I said, hey Patty, I'm a, I said hi to most everybody before on Kari. Okay, so let me get back to this, let me get crack a lack in here. I'm going to do her dress lime green, too. I'm going to do all of it lime green. Well, citron green, lime green. Not her, not her legs, though. I'm not sure what I want to do with her legs. I probably will have it striped. I don't know if I want them... I don't know if I want the stripes lime and black. I'm not sure. I'll probably want lime. So I'll go ahead and put a stripe. A lime, one lime stripe. And then I'm not sure if I want... Because I kind of want the whole thing to be a cohesive green look. With just some shades of green. So I'll probably do lime green. I, I guess I'll just go ahead and do her stripes on her hose lime and olive or whatever co other color green I pick out. Utterly open my eyes and having coffee. 
Uh, yeah, I came on a little early today. I wanted to get crack a lacking. And then apparently we're going to have Carrie's going to stream after I'm done. And Jean comes, she's going to stream uh, for uh, Joyce because Joyce is not streaming today. So, yeah, I want, I want this one here too to be green. Those two I'll leave white like they're far away. So we can all be working on stuff while we're watching. That's what I like to do anyway when I'm working. Watch people's, you know, recordings. Most of the time it's recording. Sometimes they're live. Some sandpaper. Oh, you're going to be able to come. I don't know what happened with that, Carrie. That was just weird. I've never had that happen with paint and pencil. No, that was just odd. So just a very light lime green. And again, if you want something darker like I did her hair, you want to dry it and then put another coat. Don't try to get it all dark in one coat with a wash on these color books because the paper is just not built for that. They're not, it's not watercolor paper. It's just, you know, if you're lucky, it's cardstock. But more often than not, it's not even that thick as car, of cardstock. You know, this is a little thicker than normal color books, but it's probably not even, I'm guessing, 60 weight? I don't know. It's not, it's not very, it's not even 90, and I, and I probably have that wrong as far as weights go, but it's not, it's not even card, cardstock thick. Okay, and again, I did go in here with a few tan color highlights with paint after the recording stopped on Monday, and after I finish with the wings, I probably will have a few I'll get the liner brush out and have a few floaty hairs on top of, you know, the glow and her wings and all that. Okay. Well, you know what? I guess I could have just colored that all in because I, I was because I'm undecided on the leggings. But you know what? I'm going to color the whole thing lime green because I'm going to go in there with the dark green or the uh, olive green. So I might as well just go ahead and paint the whole thing as a base coat to shade on top of. There we go. Because it's not going to be white. It's going to be another shade of green. Okay. Let me dry this. Remember, you want to have it perfectly dry before you start color penciling on top of wet paint. Did Jean say what she's going to do? Because you was about to eat eggs and Jenna. Okay, Jean's telling us that she's eating Mickey D's. She did not mention what she's going to do, did she? Oh, is she going to jelly plate? Or did I miss it? You want it 100% dry, otherwise you're going to be peeling up your paper. <clears throat> yeah, I know, isn't it? So this is the color book that we're working in, and it, it is there to go. It's, it's, it's real, it's as black as my shirt, but it's not, it's given a, gla a glare. There we go. It's so if you look for it in store, it's not gray, it's black. <laughs> but I have the light set so that it brightens up the color book page a little. Okay, so now let's get in with some pencils. I think I want, this is, all right, now, t don't tell me this is my sharpener. Wait for it, wait for it. Look at this, people. Look at this. I don't know if, it'll, if I can do it. Look. Look. That is not my sharpener. <laughs> no. 
That is poor quality right there. All right, moving back into my barrels. <laughs> I have to go vintage this today. Vintage pencils today. All right, so I'm going to get out, uh, uh, I don't know if it's olive or what color is this? Chartreuse, what is it? Can't see it. Where's my, where's my jean? I don't have my mag light on jean. I'll just go old school. I'm going to go old school. Lime, what is that? Lime stock? Lime? Anyway, I can't see. It's written in gold. A lime color and an olive is what I'm looking for. Or a gray green, one or the other. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't it doesn't matter. Um they'll tell you just send it back you know send that pencil to us we'll replace it for you it costs five dollars to ship it and you know or yeah it's not even worth it okay let's see this is a warm gray and it's kind of got a green to it i might use that and then i need a darker green like maybe what is this i don't know if i want grass green i don't want that brighter green i kind of want to go with olives Now, these are my um, Paula and Galena pencils. Let's see. The Sanford in the barrels. Let's see. This is dark, just, just green. No, that's grass green, too, but it's, it's... I don't want that. I want an olive. I may not have an olive in this. I might have to dig out an actual olive out of my real, my regular pencils. Yeah, green. This is a, a green ochre. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay. And that's probably all I'll need. Maybe, a, let's see. Is that even darker? Mm, no. This one is dark green, too. All right, maybe I'll go with a little bit of, let me start. I got a new dark green. Again, this is, the, here's another pet peeve of mine. You're doing jelly plating. Okay. Oh, for Colleen. Okay. Uh, and I, I told Hobby Lobby about it. <laughs> and they said they'd fix it. Now, this is before I, you know, told them about it. It will take, <laughs> this uh, scotch tape is wrapped like four times around this pencil. And, you know, sometimes you want to either see the name or sharpen it on that end. In this case, like, here's the name, right? There's the name of the pencil with the number. So I want to sharpen this end, but I can't unless I spend 15 minutes picking off pay, uh, tape. And, I mean, it's it's just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped, see? And then the, the, the label is, the Hobby Lobby label is stuck. So you've got to, like, scrape off the glue and then you got to make sure the glue's off of there because then it gums up your... <laughs> so I'm just going to sharpen the other end. So if I forget what color this is, that's why I can't see it. <laughs> hey, Galena. Uh, jelly plating. What else did I miss? Okay, so you're telling... I know, I know, G. Jean is my uh, jelly plating mentor. She goes, she's going to be showing jelly plating for Colleen today. And <clears throat> anyone else that <clears throat> needs assistance. <clears throat> yeah. I know you're talking to me, Jean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. But, yeah, they're, uh, they're different. They're different for sure. Oh, look. Look what happened. It just dropped right out. This is the, the new one, not the Sanford. Let me sharpen it again. I'll tell you, I would be on, I, I think I'd be on to Pablo, uh, Carndosh Pablo's if I could afford it. I'll tell you, I'm about over my Prismacolors. And I think that's probably on the verge of breaking there too. Okay, so... 
I love the blendability of them. I love the blendability. But okay, I'll get off the rant. Okay, so I'm going to start first with the, I think I'll start with the olive green. I don't want to go full on dark yet. <clears throat> the background of wash. The background, it's not a wash. It's it's a full on uh, Prussian blue acrylic paint, not a wash. It's just full strength Prussian blue. And then that's color pencil, color pencil halo around her. On top of the paint. Yeah. Well, they're worth buying if you get, a, get them that they're not breaking. It's all up in the air. I, I buy them because I love the blendability. But the breakage, uh, the like, where's that one I just had? Like, where did I put it? Oh, gosh. I hope I didn't put it in the stain. <laughs> where's that book? But when you get pencils like this, then it's not worth it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go in here. I gotta decide do I want you know what I think I'm just gonna go a, around the dots I think I'll have this be dark the dark part so I'm just gonna kind of but I want it blendy too I don't want it like solid green in there solid olive I want it to kind of feather out so I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive on it around the little dots but keep it kind of light. I mean, airy. Not. I don't want it solid. Does that make sense? I don't want this a hard, solid olive. Because I want to go over it with the lime and blend it out softly. I want our wings to look kind of soft. The new ones you got from Blick seem better. Okay, Janet, that's good to know. Well, I, I dug into the ones that you and Paula sent me. And uh, the Sanfords and the Barrels, Galena. You know, they just, they don't make it like, they all make them like they used to, right? But anyway... If anybody tells you it's the way you're sharpening them, just say, um, no, it's not the way I'm sharpening them. <laughs> but I'll get off my Prismacolor rant. I've had enough of those. All right, so I'm just kind of want a little bit of olive in there around the little specks. Again, I have no idea what color she she painted this girl when she painted her herself. I don't know. That looks like that might that's supposed to be hair. I don't know. Um. I did not look at her picture, so I have no idea what colors she used on her painting. But I don't really want to look, I mean, I'll look at her girls just to kind of get an idea of a little bit of how she's done them. But I don't want to copy any of them. I want to just color them the way I want to color them. I don't want to feel uh, uh, constrained to, okay, she has this exact shade of pink, and I don't have that shade of pink. And, yeah, I don't want to feel like that. I just want to color it how I want to color it. That's because you're the boss of your color book. Oh, does my new set on Amazon are better than your older set? Okay, so maybe they've listened, Jean, and they started fixing the quality. I don't know what that is right there, but it's bugging me. I'm going to go over it. Um, maybe they fixed the quality in some of the, in the newer sets. But they've got to sell all those old sets, too. They're out there. <laughs> They're out there, Jean. Uh, Exactly, Lady Blue. I 
I mean, I love the blendability of them, but yeah. All right, so I'm just going to kind of shade around these little specks, the little dots, a little bit, just so they stand out in lime. Something like that. All right. Then I'll, I'll see if I'll, I just want a little bit. This I don't know if this is going to be dark. Yeah, that'll be dark enough. I just want a little bit darker lime color in the wing here and then I'll go in there with some white yeah Jean but they don't, they don't blend uh, Crayolas don't blend like Prismacolors either but yeah <laughs> you'd think if Crayola could make some non-breaking pencils Prismacolor could too right <laughs> I think that's what you mean. I'll hold this up in just a second. The background is Prussian blue Americana. All right, I'm going to blend that some more, but let me get the other side done here. I'm trying to keep my hand kind of out of the way so you can see. I'm not as zoomed in today because I wanted you to see the whole thing, you know. Thanks, Mel. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, Kaz. I would love for Prismacolor to, because I do love, I love them. You know, but uh, if they're going to send me some, make sure they send me some that have been tested. <laughs> some that have been tested open the box make sure they're not going to break I don't care if you have to sharpen every one and test every one <laughs> okay. 
don't send me any more like this. Or they didn't send me this one, but don't send me any like this. Right? <laughs> don't send me any of those. Okay. So now we go in here with the... But I just love the way they blend. I mean, when they're when they stay unbroken and sharpen well, I love them. I love them. And like Jean and and uh, Janet were saying, maybe they've you know, started correcting it. Maybe they've had enough people, you know, complain about the issues that they have started to correct them because they said their last ones weren't like that. So, you know. All right. Do these little dots. Again, I haven't blended anything yet. I'm just laying down some colors. Let's get down into this one. You've got to go around all those little dots if you want them to kind of stand out. I might end up doing them dark, dark green too. Those little dots, I might. We'll see. We'll see. Because look, I can feel it bending. It's already this one's loose too. But I use such light pressure that you know I can feel it wiggling, but I'm using such light pressure I can still use it. dress here because I want her dress the same color as the uh, let's kind of put a few little pleats like in there with the dark I want the dress the same color as the wings and same for her I want it all to be like all the same so she's almost like camouflaged shade under her hand there. But I don't want to lose those little hair, her little, she's got a few wispy hairs coming through here. And again, I'll probably go in there with a liner brush and put a few wispy hairs um, coming out over the wings and over the stars. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps. I'm going to try to catch them all, but... Okay, I think I will do... Let me go ahead and put a coat of olive, and then I'm going to put dark green. Again, I'll blend it out here in a minute. Just get it colored in. All right, now let me shade the lighter areas. The 
and I'll do the, this color over with the dark green. Just start blending it out a little here and there. And that's where the stripes end there. Okay, let me get the dark green now on the stripes. I'm going to move some of the stuff out of the way. Oh, my coffee over. Oh, see above. Okay, what, what, let's see. Dee Dee didn't, Denise would take one hour. What live have been taking two years? Oh, yeah, Denise can crack a lack. If you're talking about crack a lack and on the organizing, yeah. I've been practicing with my sketching. Yeah, you got, it does take practice, for sure. That's great. Are you on, uh, are you on Twitter? Mel? You have to go to a sleep study tomorrow, Jean? On a Thursday? No, but I have that on my Oh, okay. Yeah, Mel, make sure you do. All of us pretty much here keep in touch with each other and tweet out when we're streaming and stuff. And I'm Inky Well, I N K I W E L L on Twitter. So, yeah. Let me stocking barrel bread. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I know. You can still get them. You can get them on eBay. Getting her dress done here. Go back up to the wings. It's all the same colors. I'm using the same colors on the dress as I am on the wings. All right, let me get a little bit of shading in here on this part of the dress, just a little texture. 
and the shadow under the flowers. So you can see it's still, it's rough. I mean, pencil, you can still see pencil roughness. See, right there. It's not blended out yet. It's just laid in. Go back up here on these parts of the wings up here. And again, I think I'm going to do those dots dark green, make them stand out. And I'm not that zoomed in so you can see the overall picture today. But I'm still trying to hold it up every now and then. The pencil roughness is the problem Jean is having after many light layers. You just got to keep layering. <laughs> All right, you know what, I think instead of, I can do it either way. I can go in here with the pencil. Well, I'll go ahead and do it. I was going to say, or you can go in here with the, the marker, your, like your water-based markers. Well, you could do it with any kind of markers, but if you're going to do it with um, Copics, they're going to go through. But I could go in here with, um, instead of going in here with the pencil and coloring all these dots, I have, you know, that have pretty much that exact color of green in the marker, but I'll just, since I already started, I'll just go ahead and go in here with it. I'm going to color all these little dots, all the little um, small dots, not these big ones. I'm going to shade those out. I'll probably put a little bit of green in the edge of them, but like that. Oh, I still got to shade him too. All right, so see how I'm just doing the dots? The little, I don't know what they're called, the little dots. But I'll probably go in here with just a little bit of the dark green so that you can tell that it's part of that, that they just these haven't developed into these big dots yet. <laughs> I'll hold it up here in a second. I'll have to go back over here at her hair. See, I've lost that little curl right there. So you can see what I'm talking about there. Um, it depends. It depends on what color it is, what I'm working on. Somebody asked if I push a little harder when I'm blending. It depends on a lot of things. It depends on if it's a face or if it's like just a, the, the black flower center or what, you know, it just depends on what it is. I would recommend practicing. Take your pencils, you know, take a few shades, like, you know, give you a hard pressure like that, and then just, you know, feather it out, you know, just keep feathering and blending out and see, see how much, how many layers, I mean, how many, um, not layers, but how light you can get it and, and practice like this. And there's bumps on my table, so you're going to see bumpy stuff here. And practice that and then take another color and start going over it and start blending. And I'm, I'm doing real light, except for that real push right there. I'm doing really light, a very light 
touch and you can see how many layers you can build up but it just it's going to depend on what you're doing yeah it's going to depend on what you're doing I very rarely put hard pressure on my faces but in the center of a flower I might you know maybe a little less pressure here you just got it's all it's I don't have a formula I keep telling you I don't have a formula you just got to keep layering it's just much better to keep layering than to push really hard I'm going to show you I'm I'm going over and over and over this and, and you'll see I'm blending with just two colors okay now I'll go back with the green I should be doing this on here though because my table is my table has got bumps on it blue dot bumps and stuff like that I'm just let's just pretend this is a leaf or something <laughs> And this this will be pretty much kind of like I'm doing the butterfly wing. Now you can get in there with even lighter and get a lime green. I'll do add another lime green color because I'm going to add that in here too. So I'll use the same colors. I'm I'm just going over and over and over and over and over. It. I'm not bearing down. It's just better to do lots of, just keep going over and over lightly. I know it seems like it's the same thing. It, well, you know, you think, well, you're just going over and over and over and over it. Why not just bear right down on it? Well, it just, it does make a difference. It does make a difference in the, the way it's built up. Just the way the light pressure over and over is different than just going like that. <laughs> I'm just going over and over with light pressure and blending it all together okay so there we go there's no pencil mark now it's all blended This is what I'm kind of going for on the wings, right? Like a sound effect. <laughs> <coughs> All right, back to it. Where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dark green over here. So pretty. Yeah, it's just lots of layers. Just resist the temptation to, you know, really bear down. It's just better if you're not sure, well, should I put more pressure? Don't. <laughs> just keep going over and over and over and over and over it. Now, I am going to kind of bear down on these little dots because I'm not going to blend anything. These little dots right here, I'm just like coloring them in. There's no blending. There's no, there's no shading. I'm just coloring in these dots. So I'm kind of, I guess you'd say I'm just really bearing down on those dots. But I have no plans to shade. That's going to, that is what it is, those dots. Now I'm going to like shade around it. I'm going to shed, you know, um, blend around the dots, but the dots themselves, that's it. There's no more, you know, they're just solid. That's why I said a minute ago I could have just colored those in with my marker. I'm just coloring those dots. not shading or blending.
Well, the colors on the sheet get on the back of this. It might. <laughs> uh, it might, but it's not a it's not a double sided page. It's just got the words there, so yeah, it it might get on there if that's bothering you. You don't want it to. We'll move it out. <laughs> it just takes some practice. It just takes a little practice. All right, let me come up to this butterfly here. <laughs> And again, I'm not going to, you know, overly stress every little nook and cranny on here. I just want to kind of get him blended in. Maybe put a little dark green in there. He's far away. But, you know, if if that if you want to get in in tight little areas, you can either get your pencil really sharp or get a, just use a marker. Use a marker on those tight areas. And I just use, again, because I know someone's going to ask, I just use the, these bullet tip Crayola super tips. They look like that. And the reason I like these is because you can get a fat line, a thin line, and a medium line. And they're, they're, now they're not going to blend. They're not Copics. They're not watercolor markers. They're water-based markers. And I just use these pretty much for like filling in those little dots and things like that. But in this case, I just went ahead and just went in, in here with the pencil. So you can kind of see what I'm doing there. And then I'll blend those out a little bit. Thanks, Lynn. What time is it? Oh, we're good. Okay. I just want this one to have essence of the, the big butterfly here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blend that out a little. You know, just, it all just kind of really depends on how much time you want to spend on your page. I mean, you can spend days on a page and there's nothing wrong with that. I personally can't because I have too much other stuff to do. But, I, you know. Alright, so now I'm going to take, let me just go ahead and take um, the lime green here and just kind of finish blending. Just kind of want to a little bit kind of match this the girl. That's good enough. Now, if you want, I don't even remember if this one did have antenna, but I, it had other things in the background here. It had some like little vine things that I just didn't want because I wanted it stars. But you can go in here with your own little, make your own little. Um, you know, antenna, <laughs> antennae. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go back to this. All right, so now I'm going to start blending some of this out. So, like, I've got three shades of green right there, and I'm going to take my lightest green. Let me sharpen it all again. Where's my sharpener? And just start, this is where I'm going to start blending it in now. I'm not bearing down. It's just, there's so, the, the, lot, um, the layers here are so light. Let's see if I can kind of hold that. The layers here are so light, it just doesn't take a lot. See how it's, it's just going away? It's just blending in. Because the layers underneath are such light pressure. I'm not having to cover anything up. I'm just smoothing it out. Can you see that? Can you see the difference between that and that? So I'm just going to keep kind of light pressure. And I might not be focused because I'm just holding it up to the camera. See?
And then if it gets too light, I'll go back in with a little bit more dark. But that's pretty good right there. But it's really no pressure at all. But I do have a lump there or something. I'm still not buying Prismas. Okay. <laughs> So if I want those a little bit darker, I'll just add a little touch more along the edge there. Like I said, guys, I really don't have a formula or a hard and fast rule. And there's different people are going to color different ways. So you just got to it just practice until you get it like how you want. And we'll go back and just kind of blend out that darker a bit more. Now, I want this, the, the olive green, I want it darker too. So I'm going to take a brown, and I don't, want to, I don't want to lose her hair there, so I'm going to pull it away from the hair just a little bit. But I'm just going to add a little bit darker over the olive just to make it, a little bit darker in the olive areas and I'll go back over it with the olive and then kind of just blend that out with the I think I'll just go with the lime because I want it all to be kind of just shades of green let's see do I want to under just a little less there um, I just wanted all shades of green. Today's explanation was very good. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks for asking. I just don't need a lot of pressure because there's not a lot to blend out. The layer that I'm go going on top of is very lightly done too. Except for those dark green dots, which I'm not trying to do anything with those anyway. I'm just kind of really going around them now. It's kind of going around those green dots. I just want to blend this wing out. I just like to show you this is just how I do it, you know. Got a little dark green. There's something on there. It must have got it's like a bump. Like a I don't know what. Some splash on there or something? I don't know. So just got a little bit of uh, a little bit of the olive underneath the dark green. What the? A little bit of olive under the dark green, and I just kind of blended it in with the lime green. Now this is still a little bit. I think I need a little bit more olive in these. I just want those to blend just a little bit more. Blend just a little bit more. There we go. 
but you can do a lot of blending as long as you have light touch. <coughs> All right. Let's see, do I want to do anything else with this one? Maybe I'll just do a little bit of blending. Okay, let's go over here, sharpen my lime. I want to do it. I want to make sure I have time to get to those wisps in her hair that go on top of everything. So let's see how we do it on time. Okay, we're good. I just want to make sure I have time to finish that too. And again, you know. I'm sure everybody has different ways of doing it. This is just how I do it. <laughs> hey, Elk Lady. I think I said hi to you earlier. I don't know if uh, Hobby Lobby has Posca pins. I don't know if they do. Don't go up there for a special trip without calling. Mine was gifted to me, and then I've seen them on jet pens. I don't know, and Am well, Amazon too. Jean bought, she's bought, and I think uh, Eileen too bought sets. But I don't know that Hobby Lobby or Michaels has Posca. You might have to get it at Jet Pen. Yeah, I've not seen them there either. But Jet Pen has them for like under like two bucks or something like that, maybe less somewhere around two dollars a pin so yeah yeah mine I've not seen them at my Hobby Lobby or Michaels so you probably have to get it off the Amazon or jet pins JetPens has quick shipping. Well, Amazon, I guess, does too. Maybe it depends on what you're getting. You could ask Jean how long it took her to get her, but she bought a set. So maybe it might even have different time period for a set than it would for a single pen. But you can get them for like a couple of bucks at JetPen. So a little bit more green to blend in here. You got yours on Amazon. Did you get? The, but you got a set, Jean. Did you? How about the individuals? Did you buy an individual first, or with the set, or? Miko's enabling. You got yours two days in from the newest enabler. Janet has Prime. <laughs> okay, so El Clay said she got hers at Amazon. It took two days. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm liking that. Can spend a little bit more time going around these dots or shading them a little underneath a little better in a while. But I want to keep moving. Keep moving. I need a little bit of brown underneath each one of these to kind of darken it up with the olive. But I don't want to get into her hair because, but although that kind of is cool, you kind of can't tell where her hair ends there and the wings. It's kind of all like camouflagey. I like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave the wings for now. All right, I gotta do these two wings though. Let <laughs> me get down in here. Let me sharpen again. I'm working my way down to her stockings here. Let's just blend this in. Let's blend this in. Get a little brown under there. And then the lime green. is a fun color book there's you know it's kind of got the same type her style of faces you know with just in different kind of scenes but you can color them all different color you know different uh, nationalities which is what I plan on doing and again if you look I haven't studied them I've glanced at them her different colors and then here too look she has some very pale and blue this one is pale and brown that one of course has a mask on this one's purple so she colors the faces different colors but again I didn't want to go I didn't want to go look at like this particular poppy painting of hers it, it's, I don't even know what color she colored the poppy painting girl um, okay, I need a, where's my black? Start green. Where'd my black go? I'll set it down somewhere. Okay. I've kind of gone over into my blue. I've got white auras around some things here. I just need to get rid of where I've gone over sharpen it up <clears throat> okay let's see let's get back to blending here a little dress I gotta make sure I'm picking up dark green and not black. The paints that you had are thick and set. What kind of paints? You just haven't used them in a long time, Mel? I didn't see what kind of brand they were. Yeah, that's what I was saying the other day. Every now and then, if you're not using your paints a lot, you need to uh, uh, shake them. I mean, you could, they'll probably last some years. <laughs> But they will, 
you know, you do need to separate them. I mean, uh, shake them so they they get. You gotta bring it. Thanks, Juju. I'm trying to get her done. Get her done. Got to make sure I clean the tip off so that you're not picking up the dark green where you don't want it to go. Like when I go around these little dots here, I'm picking up the dark green. You got to be careful because a little smear. I don't know who's tweeting me. Carrie, are you leaving me a message? <laughs> okay, let's see. Dark green again. A little bit of dark green in there. And then I need the brown in between. So I'm glad to be able to finish this page for y'all, but I was going to finish it anyway today. And if Carrie's going to stream, Jean's going to stream, can get some uh, more stuff done. I worked on Happy Mail yesterday. Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah. <laughs> worked on Happy Mail yesterday. Let's go back and blend it in again. Um, thanks, guys. All right, I just got this bit of her dress. Let me sharpen again. And her uh, stockings, and then her hair. Her um, wisps that I want to add in. Yeah, if y'all left before the, well, after the recording ended on Monday, I spent a little bit more time shading the hair and putting in a little bit of paint highlights. And I want to add, um, I need a little bit more shadow under these flowers. I want to add a few wispy, bits coming off of her hair with paint. Okay, I don't know if my chat... Oh, I got disconnected. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Okay. Oh, you want to call a show and tell? It's not really a review. I just kind of show the pencils tell you the name of the pencil, show what they can do, whether they're water soluble, if they're dark, or um, any, something like that. Yeah, my secret stash. Um, so yeah, I probably will just go around her too with white, but in the meantime, so I didn't know if that would be something that I should do on the show or just make it a separate recording for that. And now, so, but that's something else I thought about. Um, I don't know why I have to be so, I'm not, you don't need to be so careful around these edges, you know, because it's kind of like in a frame. When I photograph it, I usually just crop off the edges just to make a crisp photo of it. So if it goes off the edge. So again, I'm just going to go right over any of the little vines and stuff that are 
in the background that I don't care about. <clears throat> you order the book from Amazon. You'll probably get it in a day or two. I think Galena got hers the next day. Of course, you know, that's going to depend on where you are and all that. But Anywho... And I'm using a tiny brush just so I can get around the little flowers and things. You have it in your wish list. Just had to pay for two school trips. Oh, okay. Where are you going on your school trips? Tell us about it, Juju. I know you're in UK. a lag so I okay welcome everybody to coffee and art in the morning I need a refill I'm Dee Dee and this is an impromptu earlier than usual morning stream and I wanted to finish up this girl so I'm going to record a little early and I did put a link in uh, or I did tweet it out so if anybody sees it or they see that I'm gone live then uh, welcome, and I see a few people here. I think they're left over from watching another re a recording. But So what I want to do is I want to finish her, and I did this uh, Monday, <laughs> and I did add a few more things. I did finish the flowers. I put a few extra painted highlights in her hair. Hey, Juju. <laughs> I did put a few extra little painted highlights in her hair and now I want to do, finish the background I think I'm going to paint the background um, there's a lot of these little swirly woody things in the background don't know that I think I'll just paint those out and then repaint them in if I want to or maybe just put her in stars or something these things right here like this that's just not um, I just I don't care if that's there or not. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get some paint out. Let's see what color blue do I want. Do I just want Prussian blue? Because so I just want a nice dark blue. I usually do black, but I'm going to do blue today. And uh, what I usually do when I uh, paint back the backgrounds is I don't add water. I don't do a wash. It's just full strength because I want a nice flat coverage and then I'll do her butterfly, her her arms and her dress and her legs. I think that's part of her dress right there. So I think, I don't know, I just might do the whole thing, the whole background blue. Like not that she's sitting on anything in particular. I think I'll just do the whole thing background blue. So let me just get a brush here. So. Thanks everybody for joining me. Just want to get this done. So I came on early. And uh, yeah. How you doing, Juju? Anybody else that's here? So I just have some. What color blue did I use? Ultramarine? No, Prussian. Prussian. Hey, Miko. I have to say that. Um, it was Kathy, Kathy B. I don't know if she wants her last name. I don't think she cares, but it was Kathy that uh, told us about uh, that your daughter's birthday. So I hope she was surprised for a little sherry card. Hey, Carrie. Anybody else popping in? I'm going to stretch my chat out. That means I'm going to have to watch for the scroll bar to move down too. Hey, Mel Gross. Anybody else? Miss Cat, Kimberly, Mary Palm. 
<laughs> couple of guests. Thanks for being here. Hey, Kimberly. Kimberly K. Yeah, I came on early. I wanted to finish this girl before I did anything else. Now, I think, I don't know if that's part of her dress right there. I don't think it is. No, I'm just going to cover that up because I'm the boss of my color book. <laughs> uh, paint's getting a little dry. I have a fan on behind me. It's a little humid in here. Let me get my brush cleaned out. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just painting. When I paint that, it's gonna, I'm going to lose a bit of her hair. I think I'll paint that. I mean, I'll just do that with a pencil so it's not quite as dark blue. I don't want to lose her outline of her hair there. These little butterflies. Again, I'll probably go over those. Make them a little bigger. And blue. Some Prussian blue. And I'm just going to paint in the background. And again, I think I'm going to paint over these um, little vine things. And I'm, I got a kind of a small brush because I, I want to get around, you know, some other things. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Got up early, got some stuff done, so I said, "Well, I might as well just go ahead and, because I wanted, I I thought about starting it or even earlier while I was doing these flowers, and I said, well, no, I'll wait a little.' Uh, so I already did a flower or two on Monday, so you could, you know, everybody could see how the flowers were done, and the only thing that I had added last week after the recording stopped was some little highlights with paint in her hair. And, uh, but other than that, I think everything's been recorded from part one. So, I'm going to just go ahead and just take my time, paint this in. I will have to go get me some more coffee here in a minute. But, so I hope everybody has a good hump day. I watch Survivor and tweet with, uh, a bunch of fans and all that on Wednesday night. So that's that's tonight. Hey, Blue Sky Brenda. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. So I just want to finish this girl up. I did. Ha I did want to. Um, I think I'm going to outline her in white too because I might kind of lose her hair in the dark blue so I'll probably outline her in white. I uh, also thought about maybe doing going through I, I think I have a video on it already going through all the pencils remember I did the pencil I showed how I stored my pencils Miko asked how I stored my pencil I think it was Miko so I kinda showed most of them I didn't show what I have in the drawers I have extra pencils and markers in drawers. I didn't show all those. Not that you needed to see them, but I'm just saying. Um, but I think about, I don't know, a few months ago, I thought I had done a pencil. I kind of have to wait till the lag catches up. So I don't know if you can tell, it's a dark blue, not black, but it's just a little bit different than just solid black like a lot of times I'll use. A lot of times I'll use black in my solar systems because I add so many other colors to it. Well, and just because it's a, it's a solar system. Uh, oh, oh, your girls are going to school. Out, uh, oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So you're paying for trips for uh, your kids. All right, gotcha. 
And I don't think I need every one of these little poppies. I'll keep a few of them, but I don't need every one of those little poppies, I don't think. Because you can do what you want, because you know what? You're the boss of your color book. <laughs> Yeah, we always try to do those things for the kids, don't we? Let's tweet. Let me check. For us, it's uh, booze cheer. Aw, you're welcome, Miss Miko. 